Mabuhai Kamustika, welcome, how are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. This video is called From Blown Off to Blown Away. From Blown Off to Blown Away. The uh, blown off part describes United States dating sites. I was on Match.com. I was on Plenty of Fish. That was the last one before I just gave up. There was also the ever popular eHarmony. And um, I always forget one. But I was on, I was on the biggies, two of them a couple of times, and uh, the results were exactly the same. You find somebody you're interested in, and um, you know they're they're either local, like in your own city, or maybe you got to drive 200 miles, but that's up to you. Whatever you put in on your search, and then you you contact them, and usually what happens was, and I know you've experienced this too, if you've done this the response is no response. There's just no response. And the couple of times, you know, that I had, it just stopped all of a sudden. And uh, so I think I was getting played. A lot of women just want the attention of a dating site you know, that strokes their ego. And uh, I think they have no real intention of actually communicating with somebody. And I think that when the guys get on these dating sites, they do want a relationship. I'm just not convinced that the women do. And uh, it was just a bad experience. And I think that's when people talk about international dating sites, they bring that experience with them of being um, blown off. And they expect that they're going to you know, be doing it a long time and just basically trying to beg people to communicate with them, having people contact them and, and make critical remarks. and. It's just a, a strange experience, but it's not what you think. Well, yeah, I felt uh, blown off. I, I gave up. I didn't know what else to do. Sure, there's thousands of dating sites, but why go through the same thing all the time? That's kind of insane. So I had never done an international dating site. And when I decided to sign up, um, I was home that day. And uh, my phone or my computer was ringing like a slot machine because every time there was a chat request it would make a noise and it got really irritating because I was trying to look through all these profiles of these beautiful women and all of these interruptions with chats and messages and you know, it's a good thing it's just I'm not used to it so um, I declined every single one of them and there were hundreds of them just in the first week hundreds of them because I was trying to look through profiles and decide who to talk to and and so on, and, and it, this was just blowing me away. It was like drinking water out of a fire hydrant uh, because there were so many choices, so many opportunities. You can't do them all or it will take forever to find a wife. So I declined all of those. I made a list of some people I wanted to talk to and I communicated with probably five women. Um, they, they might have all made a good wife. They were all pleasant. They were all easy to talk to. I was not expecting that. I, I would expect some rudeness on an American dating site. I had one time somebody message me simply to be critical of my appearance. That was it. I hadn't shown any interest in them. Uh, they just, I guess that's what they were doing for the night. That was for kicks. Uh, but that never happened on, on Christian Filipina. And um, there was a lot of people to talk to. By about day five or so, I decided I was going to focus on my wife. I told the others I was going to focus on this woman and uh, now she's my wife. It happened all very quickly and I believe it can happen quickly for anybody because it's a whole lot different um, on an Asian dating site than it is in America. Now Christian Filipina I trust. A lot of the others I don't trust as implicitly but I do believe you can find uh, genuine, sincere Filipinas out there on these other sites. You just have to know the right questions. Um, I guess maybe you have to have some a good common sense or something, but there's a lot of people that get scammed and there's a lot of Filipinas out to scam you. I would hope that with a little research on what to look for that you could avoid that, <clears throat> that it would be obvious what they're looking for. But I was totally blown away when I went to Christian Filipina and uh, it gives me so much hope that other people can get married that don't feel like they have any hope at all. They've been blown off from the United States dating sites or some other country. 
Um, I tried Christian Filipina. If you're a Christian, I highly recommend it. And um, you know, you can end your search. I had plenty of choices to find my love beyond the sea.